every great story starts with the rush of thrilling gaming action. Handcrafted flavors, eager to please. Getaways for some well-deserved me time. And rewards worth bragging about. If it's a story worth telling, it starts at La Berge Baton Rouge. What's your story? You could be the biggest sale of the year is happening right now during Happy Honda Days at Team Honda. For a limited time, make no payments for 90 days on every new Honda. That's right, you choose and make no payments for 90 days at Louisiana's number one Honda dealer, Team Honda on Segan Lane. Few things in life are as valuable as family and peace of mind, especially when it comes to your final arrangements. That's where Dignity Memorial can help. Our prepaid funeral plans make sure that your life will be remembered exactly the way you want it to. At Dignity Memorial, no detail is too large or too small. Call Lee or Gretchen Serio at 225-315-6187 or online at DignityMemorial.com. Dignity Memorial, the peace of mind you and your family deserve. Visit Treads and Care Tire Company's new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for over 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair and top-notch customer service. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling. the feeling hello and welcome as we start another week of the clarence bug show here's hoping all is well with you and yours and your little bitty slice of South Louisiana heaven since the last opportunity we had to spend some time with you and yours. We start today's show with Louisiana news, and I guess I could preface this story with, ooh, they're going to get you. Jason Williams, district attorney in New Orleans, went on Fox News recently and openly admitted that when it comes to crime in this country and in his city, quote, Rome is burning, not just in New Orleans, but in this entire country. In addition, he also stated the unprecedented level of criminal brazenness is killing our country. Jason Williams said the following. Quote, I am quoted as saying Rome is burning, and that's not meant to be hyperbole. And I've been ringing this alarm for over a year now, when carjackings began to surge. But Rome is burning, not just in New Orleans, but in this entire country. He went on to say that I'm concerned about New Orleans because this is where my family lives. And the level of repeated violence is unparalleled. And we need national and local responses to it. I don't think it's a Democrat or Republican issue. Of course, I beg to differ there, but I digress. But I don't think that it's a Democrat or Republican issue, whether you're a liberal or a progressive. I think we can all agree that murder, rape, and armed robbery need to be dealt with aggressively and consistently. This is a triage moment right now. It is a sad commentary that it has gotten to this point before the individuals that can do something about it decide to speak out. You and I, Everyday Louisianians, particularly those of us that live in major cities, we've been knowing this for quite some time now. And while I applaud him for telling the truth in that regard, I also 
have to wonder, what took you so long? We have watched this trend unfold in recent memory. Regular, ordinary, New Orleanians, Baton Rougeans, Americans. We've been sounding the alarm for how long now? I guess you could make the argument that it's better late than never. Unfortunately, the victims of crime, particularly violent crime, may not share that sentiment. Now, whether or not the powers that be decide it's time to do what needs to be done to fix this, only time will tell. Unfortunately, however, in the meantime, things continue to get worse. You probably saw the story last week where four miners stole a car in Texas, drove 300 miles before the car was spotted in West Baton Rouge, a chase ensued, and obviously they ran from the police. Fortunately, no shooting was involved as these four minors were all apprehended. Meanwhile, to add credence to the argument of District Attorney Jason Williams in New Orleans, last week, an 11 and a 13 year old involved in an armed carjacking ended up being shot by a citizen who happened to be carrying while they attempted an armed carjacking. Four separate crimes have been linked to the 11 through 15 year olds, the four of them involved in this crime spree. You know, you don't have to be the brightest bulb in the chandelier to think when an 11 year old is involved in an armed carjacking, the odds are without some serious major intervention, we can pretty much tell where that 11 year old is going to end up. 12 year old, 13 year old, 14 year old, 15 year old. As sad a commentary as it is, if this is what they're engaged in at 11 years of age, God only knows what they'll be involved in when they reach, quote, adult status. The facts are what the facts are, folks, pure and simple. And we now have allowed our society to get to the point where people are deathly afraid in their own homes. When a society reaches a point where because of our children, we're afraid to go out in the yard with our grandkids, our kids, and play. We are afraid to get in the car after dark to go to a store to get whatever it is that we may need. When we allow ourselves to get to a point where when you kiss your minor children goodbye on the way to school in the morning, you don't know if they're going to make it home again, alive. We, my friends, have a serious problem. And all the pontificating and speculating and conjugating in the world is not going to fix that. The pure fact of the matter is, unless and until we step up to the plate and demand better, we will continue to see the same old, same old, same old. What is particularly scary about this is the speed 
which which all of this has occurred. I don't think it's too much of a stretch when you hear people say, quote, not long ago, we didn't have these problems. And you would be right in that assessment. Of course, now, typically, you have to think a little bit further into the equation and ask yourself, well, what has happened in recent memory that would expedite our society falling to the point where it is now? I would venture a guess, defund the police. We can't afford to hurt our young people's feelings and things of that nature. When you take all these things into account and what our approach to dealing with them has been so far. A simple question for you. How's that working out for us? You already know the answer. It's rhetorical. You, you, we know the answer. We now have 11, 12, 13, 14 year olds committing armed carjackings. We have 11, 12, 13, 14 year olds stealing cars, driving them 300 miles across state lines and then attempting to run from law enforcement when they're caught. I don't know about you, but I remember not too long ago where something as simple as shame would stop us from doing certain things as Americans. Now it is 180 degrees opposite. It's a badge of honor, a badge of courage in many communities now. Wow, you, you, you were arrested for armed carjacking, but you're only 11 years old. Yeah, man, we, we, we do what we do. And yet, our communities remain silent unless and until something happens where it's a person of another color involved. That, my friends, is an entirely different show for a different day. At the end of the day, these are our communities and these are our children. And unless and until we stand up and demand accountability from them and from the justice system, things, sadly, will only continue to get worse. I challenge you to prove me wrong. First break of today's show. When we come back, segment two. And you know what that means, right? Yep. Tuesday, segment two. Time for another illustrious edition of. Now that's just stupid. That's next. When we continue today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show only on the Pelican. Stay close. Hi, I'm Bobby Yarborough with Manda Fine Meats. Here at Manda, we know what the folks of South Louisiana love. They love great flavored smoked sausage, delicious deli meats, and specialty items like boudin and andouille sausage. Manda Fine Meats has been providing these products since 1947. We produce them right here in Baton Rouge, so you know you're always getting the freshest product at your local grocery store. Manda Fine Meats. Taste the fresh local flavor in everything we make. Make it Manda every time. Hey everybody, I'm Kevin Gallagher. This is Roy Fletcher. We hope you'll join us for Fletch Nation, especially if you like talking politics. Hey, come and join us. We'll give you the information and then we'll give you the context. We and by the way, we'll give you fun too. Right, lots of fun. We hit the local races, the state. We even look at what's going on all across America. And by the way, this space is available. If you'd like to talk about advertising, send your emails to Roy Fletcher at RoyFletcher.com and join us every week here on the Pelican for Fletch Nation. 
I owed the IRS $10,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. I'm self-employed and didn't report all my income. They claim I owe a lot more than I do. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. Tax Solutions Now saved my business. I qualified for the Fresh Start program. I paid less than I owed. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions now. Call 800-778-4345. 800-778-4345. The season of inspiration is the perfect time to discover the enhanced Mazda CX-5. Named a 2022 IIHS Safety Pick Plus Award winner. It's highest safety award honor. Choose from over 45 CX-5s available at Baton Rouge's Mazda dealer, Team Mazda on Airline. Hi gang, Clarence Bugs here, inviting you to come by Old School Barbecue, 10655 Corsi Boulevard, where we tape the show live every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 11 o'clock. Come by and feast on news, sports, current events, love of God and country, and lots of common sense, along with some of the best barbecue anywhere on the planet. 10655 Corsi Boulevard, Old School Barbecue, home of the Clarence Bugs Show. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Welcome back to today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show. Second segment, Tuesday show. If you are new to the show, by chance, you may not be aware that <laughs> in the midst of the ever-increasing level of stupidity in our country, we've instituted a new segment entitled, now that's just stupid, but this is not ordinary, everyday, run-of-the-mill, S-T-U-P-I-D. What we're talking about here requires a new word with its own spelling, as the graphic shows you, S-T-O-O-P-I-D, as in, now that's just stupid. We start, surprise, surprise, with our federal government. Title 42, ending in two days, and we are expecting a rush of illegal immigrants across our southern border like we've never seen before. So this past weekend, the head of the Department of Homeland Security, Alejandro Mayorkas, goes on television for an interview. I will um, give you one guess whether this was the mainstream media or alternate media. You already know. On NBC Nightly News, he was asked, are you worried about Title 42 being lifted next week? His response, and I quote, I'm not worried about Title 42 lifting. We recognize the challenge at the border. So you know what came next, right? Is our border secure? <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Quote, our border is secure. The border is secure because we are maximizing our resources to deliver the most effective results to our border with the most extraordinary workforce in the world. Really, bruh? Really? Our border is secure. 
And we are looking at the pictures of tens upon tens upon tens of thousands of people camped out right at the border waiting for the next two days to pass. It is estimated since Joe Biden took office, and this is not including the quote gotaways, they have apprehended over five million people. Now, when the government tells you, well, we've caught five million people, that means it's probably seven or eight. Marty says probably 10. But you know how fast and loose the government plays with official numbers, right? Just look at the budget. Different show for a different day. But this guy with a straight face will tell the American public, our border is secure. S-T-O-O. P-I-D. Stupid. Of course, now you could make the argument. What's really stupid is those of you that believe this fool. Just an observation. Secondly, <laughs> this is what happens when you cave to the woke crowd. Anheuser-Busch catching all sorts of flack over the Dylan Mulvaney situation. Last week, gay bars all across America announcing, well, we're boycotting Bud Light too. Why? Well, because Anheuser-Busch has not come out strong enough in support of Dylan Mulvaney. You see what happens when you cave to this woke foolishness? It's never enough. It's never, ever enough. Meanwhile, the CEO of Budweiser, and it's like these people never learn. The CEO of Anheuser-Busch comes out and says, well, despite the boycott, our economic projections for the next four years are still right on track. Could you have been any more obvious in signaling to those who are upset that it's time we ratch this thing up to a whole nother level? It is estimated that Anheuser-Busch has lost anywhere from five to six billion dollars so far because of the boycott of Bud Light. So the last thing you would want to do is let beer drinking Americans know we need to kick this thing up a whole nother level. <laughs> when it comes, and it is, when Budweiser and Bud Light ends up going the way of bed, bath, and be gone, they will have no one to blame but themselves. Pure and simple. But that's what happens when you're stupid. Finally, the hypocrisy of the left knows no bounds. You have watched in recent memory Democrats slash liberals slash progressives all beating the drum of defund the police. It's, it's, it's a systemic racism institution and we need to defund the police. Well, looky here. The folks leading the charge, the squad, AOC and that group, <laughs> Come to find out last year, after attempting to defund the police in your community, the four of them spent 
million dollars on, wait for it, private security. So let me get this straight. You want to tell me in my neighborhood where crime is gone through the roof that we need to take resources from law enforcement while you, the four of you, spend over a million dollars in security for you. You see how you're being played? You see how they play you, don't you? $1.3 million just for the four of them on private security. And what was, what was the doofus that came? I said, well, uh, of course I've got private security. Would you rather me die? Is that what you want to see? You want me to die? Well, what about all these other Americans who don't have $1.3 million to spend on private security and they were victimized, they were killed, their loved ones, the victim of deadly crime, but y'all don't matter. Y'all just regular everyday Americans. Shame on you. If you don't have $1.3 million for you and three of your friends to hire your own private security. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, y'all. You cannot make this stuff up. Stupid. Now, you also know what's stupid. Not having your final arrangements already taken care of. Family, loved ones, peace of mind. There's not much more that's really important to us in life. We all know it's not comfortable, it's not easy to talk about, but it is a fact. One day, you will leave this existence. And as painful as it is for your loved ones and your family, just imagine how horrible it's going to be when they cannot mourn you properly because your final arrangements fall on them. That's where my friend Lee Serio and the good folks at Dignity Memorial rise to the occasion. Prepaid funeral plans so that the peace of mind that you deserve and your loved ones deserve, it's there when you pass. And you talk about great corporate neighbors. I told you this last week. I just found out. Say, for example, you purchase average cost of a funeral plan, $10,000, roughly thereof. You've already gotten yours lined up, taken care of. If, God forbid, your minor child should die, they will give to you, free of charge, another $10,000 funeral for your child at no cost. How many other places do you know that would extend a courtesy like that to you? Listen, y'all, the uncertainty of life in today's world demands that you give yourself and your loved ones the peace of mind of knowing that all of this is already taken care of. Do, me, do your buddy Clarence a personal favor. Call my friend Lee at 225-315-6329. 225-315-6329. You won't find anybody easier to talk to. You won't find anybody any more sympathetic. And the peace of mind that you deserve is yours for the taking. Don't wait another day, y'all. Because the world is so uncertain nowadays. Who knows when your time will come. The only thing that you can really count on 
is Dignity Memorial, making it real, well, I'm not going to say real easy, but a lot easier for your family. Dignity Memorial and my friend Lee Serio, the newest sponsor of the Clarence Buck Show. Bottom of the hour break. When we come back, <laughs> I think I'm going to entitle this segment, We Might Be Slow, But We Get There. That's next when we continue today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show only on the Pelican. Stay close. Got termites? Get Premier Pest. PremierPestServices.com You could be driving a Now's the time to save on new Accords during Happy Honda Days at Team Honda of Acadiana. Get our lowest prices and biggest savings on our largest selection of Accords this year. Hurry in and save during Happy Honda Days at Team Honda of Acadiana. I-49 just south of Opelousas. Hi, I'm Katie, Operation Manager here at Old School Barbecue. We're excited about all of the changes here at Old School, and we'd like to invite everyone to come out and enjoy some delicious barbecue at Old School prices. We feature brisket, chicken, ribs, sausage, and the Boss Hog Pulled Pork Sandwich voted best deal in town. We also have live music Friday and Saturday from 7 to 10 p.m. 10655 Corsi Boulevard. We can't wait to see you. Hello guys, it's Debbie. It's time. I've got a brand new location. 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. We have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. Hi, I am Dr. Farrell Frugier, Jr., and I am a general dentist at Frugier Family Dentistry. I was born and raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I went to Catholic High School, LSU, and LSU School of Dentistry in New Orleans, where I received my DDS degree in 1986. I always have and will continue to be committed to continuing my education, to invest in technology, which makes the diagnosis and delivery of dentistry more thorough, more comfortable, and more aesthetically pleasing. In our practice, we are here to serve the patients. We want to improve their quality of life and to develop relationships with our patients. In dentistry, we have a chance to impact lives on a daily basis, not just by doing dentistry, but by getting to know them and being a part of their life. We also believe in giving back to our community. So every year, we give back to the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank, Toys for Tots, and Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. Please stop by and visit our office. We would love to take care of you and your family. Spiders. Premier Pest Services. Welcome back to the Tuesday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. Marty uh, forgot to remind me, but for this segment, white people, y'all need to change the channel for the next 12 minutes. I, I, I need to talk to my fellow black Americans. And y'all know how it is. Black people don't like talking about problems in our community in front of white people. So I'm gonna give you a couple seconds to get the remote, change the channel, you can come back in exactly 11 minutes and 13 seconds. This segment is entitled, We Might Be Slow, But We Get There Eventually. Did you see in Chicago this weekend? Black voters there in Chicago are protesting in mass about what is happening in their communities Speaking of Rome is fiddling, Nero fiddles while Rome burns, forgive me. The influx of, quote, illegal immigrants to Chicago after closing a bunch of police stations, 
they had been housing all these illegal immigrants in closed up police stations. And then somebody decided, you know, we got all these closed public schools. We could house them there. Word got out and black folks are like, whoa, 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 y'all, hold on, hold, hold on a minute. How are you going to spend resources on this when the black community is in a state of disrepair, panic, and the bottom's falling out? Well, a recent poll by ABC News and the Washington Post has revealed that when Joe Biden took office in 2021, his approval rating among people of color, black folks, was 82%. Just over two years later, <laughs> that number has dropped by 30% to 52% of black folks approving of Joe Biden. It's even worse among Hispanics. In addition to this 30-point swing from African Americans, only 40% of Hispanics approve of Joe Biden's performance. And you know, when I saw this story, I started thinking, what have they done to our brains, black people? What has the media and the left done to our brains? Here's why I ask. Speaking from personal experience, most black people I know believe in God, just like conservatives. Most black people that I know believe a boy is a boy and a girl is a girl, just like conservatives. Most black people that I know think the government ought to keep its grubby little fingers out of my paycheck as much as possible just like conservatives. Most black people that I know believe crime in their neighborhoods is out of control and we need more police, not defunding the police, just like conservatives. Most black people that I know will tell you inflation is killing their wallets and the federal government printing more money and spending more money is only making it worse. Just like conservatives. Most black people that I know will tell you in a minute there are a lot of public schools that are failing our children. And you should be able to move your child to a better school and take the taxes that the government takes from you for these schools and use that to pay for a better school. It's called a voucher. Just like conservatives. Now, every single one of these things that I just named to you, there's a whole lot of Democrats that are against it. God, a boy can be a boy, a girl can only be a girl. Whole lot of liberals are against that. We don't need any more police, we need to defund the police. Those are liberals preaching that crap in your community where you're already suffering. The federal government's budget since Joe Biden took office has increased 60 freaking percent. 
And where do you think that money is coming from? <laughs> Out of your pocket. Conservatives are for smaller government. Liberals, on the other hand, are for spending willy-nilly. You know, if I didn't know any better, hmm, I would think most black people that I know are more conservative than liberal. But you see how they have screwed your brain up? All of these things that are sacred to black folks, all of these things that black folks want protected, these are all the things that liberals are pushing for. And yet, knowing these people are against all of these things that are sacred to you, the next time you run out to the polls, you're going to still vote Democrat. Against God, pushing transgenderism, defund the police, spend money willy-nilly, to hell with inflation, you'll get used to it. All of these things you are against. And yet, you still vote for people who are a member of this party. I don't have to ask, but you need to. What in God's name have these people done to my brain to get me to do something this freaking stupid? I am voting against my interest, my community, my children. My grandchildren, my child's education, I am voting against all of this. But see, they figured it out. They know all we got to do is just keep preaching orange man bad. Oh, those evil MAGA Republicans. Well, ask yourself this. How much better off was your wallet? When Donald Trump was in office. Ask yourself. How much less was crime. When Donald Trump was in office. Ask yourself. How many folk were running around. Trying to tell your son. That he can be your daughter. And tell your daughter. That she can be your son. When Donald Trump was in office. Wasn't none of this crap happening. Two freaking years, y'all. That's all it took. That's all it took. Now listen, y'all. In, in the words of my former esteemed college band director, the legendary Dr. Isaac Patty Griggs, understand me thoroughly. I am not telling you to be a Republican. Be an independent. Be no party. Be a libertarian. But for God's sake, y'all, don't be a damn Democrat. You are voting against your own interests. The people in Chicago, <laughs> they're finally waking up. They finally are waking up to the reality of what is happening around them. But you know, there's an old saying. You get the government that you vote for. So if you have a problem with your child's public school teaching your son that he can be your daughter, look in the mirror. If you have a problem, black folks, with a political party trying to wipe God off your money, out of the Pledge of Allegiance, out of your child's school, look in the mirror. Because these are the folks, the party that you support. If you have a problem with crime going through the roof while folks in Congress are pushing defund the police, you don't have to look too far. Find the nearest mirror. Well, class, I, 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 I didn't vote for them people. Hell, you didn't. Yeah, you did. 
And some of y'all are still voting Democrat. Listen, y'all. <laughs> when Chicago can figure it out, it's time for you to, to figure it out as well. Just an observation. Just an observation. Final break of today's show. When we come back, same stuff, different flush. Fill in the blank. That's next. When we come back and wrap up today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show, only on the Pelican. Stay close. Few things in life are as valuable as family and peace of mind, especially when it comes to your final arrangements. That's where Dignity Memorial can help. Our prepaid funeral plans make sure that your life will be remembered exactly the way you want it to. At Dignity Memorial, no detail is too large or too small. Call Lee or Gretchen Serio at 225-315-6187 or online at DignityMemorial.com. Dignity Memorial, the peace of mind you and your family deserve. Every great story starts with the rush of thrilling gaming action. Handcrafted flavors, eager to please. Getaways for some well-deserved me time. And rewards worth bragging about. If it's a story worth telling, it starts at La Berge Baton Rouge. What's your story? Treads and Care Tire Company announces its new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair with top-notch customer service. Treads and Care offers the convenience of shuttle service and pickup and delivery of your vehicle. You can also enjoy the comfortable customer area, complete with workstations, high-speed internet, and a complimentary coffee bar. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. Treads and Care, the tires you need and the service you want. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Tremonti's has meat. Tremonti's has seafood. Tremonti's has much more. Tailgating and home gating platters. Huge wine and liquor selection. Beer and all the spices you need. Chairman Reserve and Wagyu meats. Ribeye rolls, shrimp rolls, kebabs. 20 flavors of sausage for the grill. Daily lunch specials and game processing. On-site catering also available. Good meat ain't cheap and cheap meat ain't good. Visit Tremontese.com. Sometimes life is wonderful. And sometimes it's not. Cherish the good. But always be prepared for life's challenges. At Private Healthcare, we provide the peace of mind you deserve. With Private Healthcare, you'll get the coverage you want and healthcare you need. If your employer doesn't supply healthcare coverage and you don't qualify for Medicare or Medicaid, you need to give us a call right now. Private Healthcare is private health insurance for ages 65 and under with medical, dental, vision, and even prescription coverage. When life comes at you unexpectedly, you need to be ready. And health insurance is your financial safety net. Health insurance has never been so easy and affordable. If you're looking for health coverage at the best price and your annual household income is $35,000 or more, call the number on the screen now and speak with a live health care consultant. Don't wait. Get the coverage you need now. Welcome back to the final segment of today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show. I, I guess this final segment, the uh, eight minutes and 35 seconds that Marty says I have left, I would dedicate to there's nothing new under the sun, slash. You see how you're being played? This weekend, I ran across something that really put the whole climate change emergency into perspective. I forget where it came from, but there are pictures of the covers 
of eight Time magazines. For example, December 1973, the cover of Time magazine, The Big Freeze. There's a guy there standing with big old coat on, hood, hat, and icicles dripping off his face. The Big Freeze. January 1977, Time Magazine, The Big Freeze. April 1977, Time Magazine. On the cover, there's a penguin waddling through snow. Headline, How to Survive the Coming Ice Age. Time Magazine, on the cover. December 1979, the cooling of America. Fast forward to Time Magazine, October 1987, headline with a big thermostat all the way in the red, the heat is on. April 2001, Time Magazine on the cover. There's a skillet with an egg frying in the skillet. Global warming, beware. Time Magazine, April 2006. Headline, be worried, be very worried. The earth is heating up at an alarming rate. July 2007, Time Magazine cover. Global warming, it will doom us all. Same stuff, different flush. And y'all know I don't mean stuff, but it's a family show, so I got to clean it up. Same stuff, different flush. And of course, now it has morphed since July of 2007 to Climate change. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell y'all this is, this is not about saving the planet. This is about control. It's all about control. Remember how they played it off? <laughs> that, no, that, that's just a conspiracy theory. Nobody's trying to ban your gas stoves. Nobody's going to do nothing like that. <laughs> and then last week, the governor of the state of New York signed into law the banning of gas stoves in new apartment buildings, homes, and businesses. Now, the Biden-Harris administration has come out with new regulations for dishwashers, claiming it will save 168 million gallons of water a year. Sounds like a whole lot, right? Until you divide that by the number of households in America. Yeah, yeah, but, but it's, it, 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 it's going to save money. So we crunched the numbers. These new regulations are expected to save you a buck and a quarter a year. You heard me right. A dollar twenty-five a year. Meanwhile, it is expected that because of these new regulations, which liberals always love, because they have to make us think they're doing something to earn their money, they then come out and say, well, it's only going to increase the cost of your dishwasher anywhere from around $15. Now, if the government tells you 15, that means it's 50. We all know this. We have seen this play before. But let's say for the sake of the conversation, the government is spot on. These regulations will only increase the cost of your dishwasher $15, okay? So you're saving 
$1.25 a year. Do you realize it's going to take you 12 freaking years to recoup your money? Not to mention that in all likelihood, because of these new regulations, right about the time you can expect to break even, your dishwasher is going to break and you're going to have to buy another one. You see how they play you? Lawnmowers, chainsaws, weed eaters, blowers, tractors, electric vehicles, ring a bell. And they have yet to explain where is all of this extra electricity going to come from. We've watched over the last five, six years, actually further back than that, every freaking summer, there are rolling brownouts across the country. California, Texas, other places. Because we don't have enough electricity to meet the demand. But now, I'm supposed to believe that we don't have enough electricity, but you can add millions and millions and millions of electric vehicles, chainsaws, lawnmowers, weed eaters, blowers, and God knows what else, and it's just going to magically all work. <laughs> if you believe that, ST. O O P I D. At least that's what they're hoping you are. Stupid. But we got to save the planet. If you believe that, beachfront mountaintop chalet in Bruley, Louisiana. Marty and I sell it to you real cheap. My time's up, y'all, and I gotta go. But you already know the drill. This day, maybe more so than any other day in history. I give it to you. You know what? You're right. America, we're not perfect. But for this old boy's money, <laughs> it's the best there is. And God knows there is no place else on his green earth that I'd rather be. Speaking of the good Lord, you know he loves you. And you know I do too. Best news you're going to get all day, son. There ain't a doggone thing you can do about either one. We'll see you soon. God bless. Appreciate you.